اللي هو الرأس القرصة هو 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 I I have to control my baby. Mm -hmm. mm. So today? You went to the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. And how is your baby? Uh, I want my baby. How is your baby? Uh, my baby is I I feel. My God, your baby is is very good. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. That's great. Is taking medicine or no? Um, I don't know because my baby is a. Uh, my baby is um is uh, ¿cómo se dice? Recupera, ya se está recuperando. Recovering. ¿Cómo? Recovering. My baby, uh, I don't know. My baby is uh, ¿cómo dijo? Recovering. Recovering. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And is your baby have the flu or a fever or diarrhea? Mm -hmm. My baby, I I had my baby is uh, uh, parinchitis. Um, so um, parinchitis. Sí. Mm. The pill do take. Uh, my baby, I had to. Uh, calentura. Fever. Fever. Uh, <laughs> but now it's okay. Uh, the bad then but now the... mm -hmm. but the them them forever when I wait ah oh, that's excellent yeah so now no more fever okay, okay.
Excellent. Lillian, Jenny, Astri, yes. Luis, Alejandra, Gladys, how are you? Are you ready for today? Yes, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So the first thing we're going to do. I is... have my internet today. Is, it was annoying. <laughs> okay, Gladys. Good. So the first thing we're going to begin with is talking about our day. Only a few minutes, five minutes, and we're going to talk about what did you do today, okay? Remember the verbs in the past tense. Remember verbs in past, in ed or d, remember the pronunciations. Okay. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect.
Okay, are we ready? Okay. Today, we're going to learn about models. Models. Do you remember what are models? Yes. Are a specific word that give you uh, an idea about the intention of the of the thing that are telling you. If it's a a suggestion, if a obey. Hey, excellent, Lillian. Great job. That's right. It's a suggestion, a recommendation, an opinion, many different ideas, obligations. Excellent. That's what we're going to look at today. Today, we're going to look at those and how to use them to talk about next week, next week vacation. And we want to give suggestions. We imagine we have hermanos lejanos. We have family uh, we have gringos, we have Canadians coming to El Salvador. Oh, what to see, what to eat, what to do. Today, we're going to learn how to express those ideas. Yes? Okay. All right. Let's listen to the introduction, and then we're going to practice. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system. Okay, so what is the topic? What city are they in? Montreal, Canada. Excellent. They're in Montreal. And in this moment, what is the topic? What are they asking about? About the traffic for the cyclists. Great. Excellent. Now we're going to listen to some ideas. What are some of the suggestions or recommendations that they give? Great. To improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing. Whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should. 
but a lot of them won't. Okay. What are some of the ideas that they mentioned now? What are some of the recommendations? They have, uh, uh, take care about the door. Ah, good. They have to be careful with the door, the drivers. And what do they need to do? They need to look at what? The corner? The, the mirror. They say they need to check the mirror, right? They need to check the mirror. They need to be careful with the door. What else? What other are some other opinions or recommendations? They said that they should be educated for the rules. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Yes, they, they say they need to learn the rules and be educated. Great. What else? Anything else? Okay. How do you say casco in English? They said like three times. How do you say casco? Okay. They say that the children should use a helmet. Is necessary a helmet, like in the picture. They need to use the helmet beginning at age six. They have to learn how to be educated with the rules. Now let's continue listening what other opinions they say. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or in the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see. And I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too. But if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. Okay. What other two things did they say? What else do they say? What are recommendations? Two more recommendations. Don't use the headphones when he drive the bicycle. Excellent. Don't use the headphones. Uh-huh. Anything else? Okay. They say that uh, maybe it, to not go in and out of traffic. If you saw the picture with the car, with the car and the bicycle is for the bicycle not to go in. And the girl mentioned that the bus and the and the bicycle not in the same lane to have separate the bus and the bicycle. That way they don't go together because they are not compatible. Let's listen. What else? What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, 
drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata, reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Mm. Like the motorcycles in El Salvador, right? In the middle of the traffic. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, they use many words to help them, to give opinions and recommendations. Those words are like here. These are the words. Ought to, should, have, have got to, and must. These are very common ways to express it. Let me explain ought to because this is normally the confusion. Auto is the same, the same idea, should. For example, you should use a helmet. The same. You ought to use a helmet. It's okay, auto. It's okay, teacher. Is the recommendation. But must is the law, is obligation. You must use the helmet is different. Is obligation to use the helmet. If no, come give you a ticket or the police arrest you. This is the difference with must. Okay. Now we're going to watch a small video and then we're going to practice using these different models. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, Sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi, I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay. So now what are we going to do? We're going to use the different words. Should, ought to, must, have got to, or have to, to express different ideas. You live in different parts of El Salvador. Some people live in La Union, San Miguel, Santa Ana, Sonsonate, different ideas. If we have tourists next week, what should they do? Where, uh, where, uh, what is something they must try? Okay, as an example, for me, always, always for the tourists, I say, you must try pupusas. You come to El Salvador, you must. It's obligation, no law, but 
is an obligation for me. Like in Mexico, if I go to Mexico, I must eat tacos, correct? So now with your partner, think about different activities to do, to eat, to drink, to visit, to see different ideas for the tourists when they come. Try to use the different words, ought to, should, must, have to, or have got to. Any questions, any vocabulary that you need? No, it's okay. All right, let's try with our partners.
Okay. Let me listen to some opinions, recommendations, suggestions, or regulations for the people that come to El Salvador. Okay, so go ahead. Tell me, what did you discuss with your partners? Excuse me, sir. Uh-huh. Tell me, Luis, what are the opinions, suggestions, or recommendations for the people that come to El Salvador, for the tourists? Oh, uh, first of all, they need to to take care with the food and all the people that have uh, lived in another country the food is healthy about the the different ingredients in 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 they uh, in this case they they ate they they eat so here in El Salvador, all the people, all the restaurant uh, cooking with a lot oil, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, all the people come here to El Salvador, always they have a, a stomach ache, a, a different uh, a sickness and the uh, that my first recommendation, they they uh, should eat the food in in the different places when they know about the food is uh, a more uh, the food the food is healthier. Okay, okay. So they should eat healthy food. Yes. And also they should go to to the beach, to the swimming pool. <laughs> okay. To the volcan de San Salvador, to feel the cold weather. <laughs> Only. All right. Good, good. Anybody else? Any suggestions, opinions, recommendations, obligations? When the people travel to to El Salvador, they must respect the traffic laws, so as the use of civil, because they can, uh, I'm sorry, of the net. <laughs> get? Uh, because they get a, a ticket. Excellent, very nice. I think. <laughs> Good. No, no, it's correct the grammar. It's correct grammar. Good. One more, one more. What about the activities, the places to visit, to see your uh -huh. Um, Uh -huh. uh, Sandra, try again. The your internet is not clear. If you visit the mountain, you should be use the comfortable shoes. Oh, very nice, very nice, great. Okay, so now we understand better. In the chat, we have a link. Please open the link before we make our partners. Okay, the link is to help us with sure or shouldn't. And we is for the questions and we're going to use those. And we're going to use ought to and must and can and have to in other words. Did you open the link? Uh, 
Okay, what is the first question in the link? Mm -hmm. Astrid, what is the first question in the link? What are some things you should do when you first meet your boyfriend, girlfriend, parents? How about things you should them do? Excellent. Thank you, Astri. I forgot that you were sick. I'm sorry, Astri. I forgot that you are a bit sick. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Astri. Uh, so you don't. You are going to select the questions that for you are interesting. Oh, for example, for me, it's interesting. What should people do to be happy? Ah, so when my partner, we're going to give up uh, recommendations or suggestions or opinions on what people should do. So it's not necessary, go in order. Select the questions that for you are interesting and then with your partner, give your opinion and ideas. It's okay. Okay. All right, let's try it one more. Um, one more. Bingo. Okay. Carlos, Alejandra, do you have problems? Uh, the, la cosa es que, well, the connection is bad, so. Okay, don't worry, Ali. We try another group, no problem.
Okay. Any questions? Is everything okay? Should, shouldn't, ought to, must, can, it's okay? Yes, it's okay, teacher. Excellent, excellent. So now we're going to talk about your plans. Now that you imagine all of the tourists, all of the gringos, all of the Canadians come to El Salvador, what are you going to do next week? Mm -hmm. I I really this holidays I always passing home. So I think the the holy week it must be that we need to get a spiritual connection with God with the with the with the, the saying of the name the holy week. I think we don't need to go to the beach or another place so that is not the the idea for this week like the uh, countries like the middle eastern they have a holy week in november month they stop the wars they stop the tourists they stop everything for me that is the same idea just for me, if my family, my, my kids, or another person that lives with me can go to enjoy the beach, enjoy the mountain, enjoy the food, they can do it. But for me, my saving personal, same, I stay in home. And Luis, you don't go to church? Yes, I go to church but I stay in home. Okay, okay. And you don't see, you don't go to the community to see the, the rugs, the, the famous rugs? No. No. No, no, no. I, I, I can join, I can join us, uh, with, with them, but I think for me, the better is, is staying home. Okay, all right, good, good. Anyone else? What are you going to do next week? I am staying at home all week because I I don't feel okay with amount of people around of me, you know. Okay, so for you, Gladys, you don't like a lot of people around you. No, it's it's, it's because um, some health issues, you know. Okay, good. I and prefer staying at, at home. Yes, and the more people, the more the more COVID, no more disease and flu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay more anxious you know mm -hmm. also the more anxious that's that's, that's the problem mm -hmm. okay okay class i understand good anybody else what else are you going to do next week what are you going the to next... mm -hmm. or drink or uh -huh. the next week i i am um... I'm going to spend my time the first three days studying, studying in my home because I felt uh, I felt behind my, in training that my work, that my job or my work, <laughs> I I like the religious event, but I don't like the places cloud, cr crowded. The rest of the week, I I I hope uh, I rest. I will rest in my home. Okay, and Jenny, how do you like to rest? 
Do you like to watch videos, movies, listen to music, sleep? Sleep and watch uh, some movies. Okay, good, very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jasmine, what are you going to do? No, Jasmine. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh huh. Sandra, what about you? What are you going to do? Okay, no, Sandra, too. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting today. Then have a good week. Enjoy, relax. If you are not complete with unit one, two, three, and four in the platform, complete. Because when we return, we finish unit five, only four days, and we finish. Okay? Teacher. Yes. Teacher, we, we return on, on Monday? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, teacher. Happy vacation. Bye, teacher. Bye. Enjoy it. Thank you. You too.